It's a brand new day for athletes at the University of Denver as triathlon officially becomes a D1 varsity sport for women. These pioneers are setting out to make a name and they're not just happy to be there. They want to win it all right away. Wake up. Swim half a mile. Cycle for 12.4. And finish with a brisk 5K. Go. It's a grueling Sunday for some. But for DU senior Amanda Ballard, it's like clockwork. I started doing like little kid triathlons when I was little, just with the swimming background. My mom would sign us up just randomly, tell us the morning of at six in the morning, like, hey, we're gonna go do this. And yeah, it was not fun, but like it felt good doing it afterwards. The Lakewood native started a triathlon club team when she didn't make the initial spring team. Then fall semester, the first ever chance for a full season, she was offered a spot and a scholarship. It felt pretty awesome. Like, I'm a hard worker, so it felt like really satisfying to see that hard work pay, pay off. And Barb's awesome. She was super supportive throughout the whole process. We're gonna do some 1200s today. So we're gonna start off uh, nice and easy. We're gonna build into it, settle in, and then come back on the back 400. Triathlon is now the 17th sport to make its mark on the Denver campus, and the third sport dedicated to only women. Definitely an emerging sport. Um, especially with women and men, but just an all women's team is super like empowering. You have to feel like a little bit of a trailblazer, don't you? <laughs> a little bit, yeah, I guess pioneer you could call it. <laughs> um, but I'm happy to leave what I've left behind and hopefully this team grows and it keeps growing and it gets better. For a team that formed only months ago, they have goals to reach the summit in only a short time. We've got fire now, we want to come back, we have a comeback to make and a trail to set, so people watch out at NCAAs for us. <laughs> the Pios won their first ever home state meet last weekend, sweeping the podium, a good tune-up for a national qualifier coming up on October 16th.